Did you know that you don't have to cut the skin around your nails for it to shrink if it's overgrown? This method that I'm going to show you is more simple than you think, and this client is a great example. And she came to me about a month ago for a very simple gentle manicure, and if you'd like to see her first manicure with me, I'm going to have a link to that video in the description box. So I did a gentle non-invasive manicures for her every week, and these manicures are very easy to follow if you want to do them yourself at home. I asked the client to gently care for her nails and that means to use a lotion or cream after each hand wash and a dab of carousel ointment around her nails at night. In this video, I will show you improvement that she made week by week for four weeks, so together five manicures, and I will point out what I see in the pictures. And after showing you the pictures, I'm going to show you her fourth manicure with me because unfortunately I didn't film the manicure today. I think this client did very well and I'm very, very proud of her progress. So guys, if you think this is a great progress for four weeks, please hit a like. And if you struggle with biting your nails or picking the skin around your nails, please let me know in the comment section if you think this is a good progress for four weeks. By the way, I know that some people bite their nails more or they pick their skin more, but I can only show you the results of clients who come to me. So I'm limited by that, obviously. Okay, so let's look at the pictures. In this picture right here, you will see that the skin was quite stuck to the nail plate right here and right here torn a little bit because this is what happens when that skin gets stuck to the nail and as the nail is growing the skin stretches and if that skin is dry and not flexible it cracks and peels and it causes this same thing here and same thing here and this nail got very short because this client was buffing it a little bit because it has a bit of a ridge and she was trying to correct that and that weakened the nail as you can see after there was a big big difference so the nail beds are much longer especially on this nail and this nail and of course this one as well so let's see how this looks week by week now this is before and after the first manicure and this is tough because you know this is not a huge improvement you would think and nowadays we are so used to these shocking before and after pictures that this looks like nothing but over time this is going to produce very very, very good results but the client has to have the faith in the process i find that it is very important to take pictures and I think it's a good idea if you are a nail professional and you are considering doing these type of gentle manicures, I think it's a good idea to maybe have like a three services package. And I recommend doing these manicures weekly, definitely. So it would be three manicures in two weeks. So first manicure a week later, second manicure and two weeks later, a third manicure. Because I find that the results are really visible. They're starting to be visible after the, the week has passed, but the biggest difference is between the week two, week one and two, so after the two weeks, because for it takes about two weeks for the skin to heal and for everything to start to settle. So it is very good to take a before picture and after a third manicure picture. And this really helps to for the client to start feeling like there is hope. And if you are doing your nails yourself, take pictures as well and look for the progress. Don't get discouraged that you don't reach perfection after a week or after two. These small incremental changes are going to add up eventually and they're going to create a beautiful, beautiful progress. And I like to always look at the nails right after the, well, before the second manicure because I want to see if, if there was a progress. Very often when you do more invasive manicures, initially the, the look is very good. The nails look much, much better, but sadly there is like a rebound effect and the skin around the nails looks very inflamed and starts to harden up after. So as you can see here before the manicure number two, the skin was improving. So that's a very good sign. So after the first manicure, the nails look better, but after the second manicure, as you can see, the nails look even better. So there was definitely this area is healing and this nail is looking better as well. And this one is actually growing out really nicely. Now let's compare after manicure two and after manicure three. 
there is some growth to this nail bed. You can see that it's growing. It's shorter here. And this one is growing as well. And this one is growing as well. And as you can see, the skin around the nail still was here a little bit damaged. It has improved significantly. Now after manicure three and four, there is still progress. This nail is getting longer, the nail bed, the pink part is getting longer. This one is getting longer, this one is growing. And still there is an improvement in the skin around her nail. So there is less redness, as you can see. Much less redness around her nail. So this is a big improvement. And initially when you look at the after manicure four and five, it's not a big difference, but there is actually a difference. So the difference is in this nail, as you can see, the nail bed has grown and the lateral nail folds, the sides, are more narrow, they are more straight. You can see these lines being more straight and these ones are flaring out a little bit. This one again, it's, it has grown. This nail bed is even longer and this, it, this is much longer as well. So overall, this is five manicures and four weeks, so a month. And now we are going to compare the before and after. There you go. So you can see how the skin here has changed so much and i'm actually i'm very impressed when it comes to the the health of her natural nails they're quite they're actually very very strong and very very nice and quickly i just wanted to show you how both of her hands look so after manicure one after manicure two now this is one compared to three The fourth manicure, she was explaining it to me, and you'll see this in this in the video that um, is at the end of this this chapter. Um, how she picked this nail, this skin a little bit, unfortunately. But you know what happens? Um, certain habits are hard to break, and it is absolutely normal to revert to old habits. But she tr keeps trying to improve, so that's the most important thing. And as you can see, this one is already healing a little bit more. This one, it looks red in the picture. It, it was not red. There was nothing wrong with this. It must be a shadow. So beautiful, beautiful nails. And I have more pictures. <laughs> so before the manicure one, as you can see here, the skin is quite overgrown and it's stretched because the nail was growing and pulling the skin with it. So before manicure two, before I did anything, you can see that the skin is already shrinking back a little bit it's nicely receding so this was before the manicure two and before manicure three there was again improvement the nail is growing nicely too and this is manicure three and before manicure four the skin looks healthier and this was before we did anything so the nail is growing nicely too and now the before and after big difference right i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much guys for watching